alternative. Because, you see, the P1 is fitted as standard with an onboard petrol-powered generator. And it is quite a big one. In fact, it's a 3.8-litre, twin-turbocharged, 722-horsepower V8. If we push this button, there it is, firing up. And the great thing is, it's not just charging the batteries. It's also working alongside the electric motor to power the wheels. So the P1 then is not like a G-Wiz at all in any way. Thanks to that generator, you can take this out of a city centre and onto the open road. And that's another reason I've come to Belgium. Because there are so many roads to choose from. Belgium has three times as many roads and 50% more cars per square mile than we do in Britain. And the stats from this remarkable country just keep on coming. There are so many miles of street-lit motorway here that Belgium is officially the brightest country on Earth. It's a little known fact that Buzz Aldrin's first words when he set foot on the moon were Good God, you can see Belgium from up here. I bet. On the road I chose, there was rain. There was sunshine. There were clear stretches. And there were traffic jams. And the McLaren was quiet and comfortable through it all. But it was not what you'd call luxurious. It is, frankly, as well equipped as a pair of monk's underpants. And that's because, like the Alpha we saw earlier, this car was designed to be as fat as Iggy Pop. Inside, there's no glove box and no carpets. The glass is just three and a half millimetres thick, one and a half millimetres thinner than the glass in normal cars, except in the back windows, where there's no glass at all. No lacquer is added to the carbon fibre trim to save one and a 